Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Student Atten Attendance Management. And uh, I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. Also, I have used the MySQL database version 5.6. For Django version, I'm using the Django 1.11. And the uh, Python version, I'm using the Python 3. So this project is also compatible with the Python version, uh, sorry, Django version 2. For connecting the database uh, with Python and Django, I'm using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website, right? Also, there are various types of connector available in the pip uh, library from which you can easily connect the MySQL with the Python. So this is the Python, Django and MySQL project with uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. So this is a web based project. So also I have used many of the jQuery library like uh, date plugins, form validations, dating drop down menu, CTC for giving some good effects, giving some extra functionality in this project, right? So this is all about the technology which I have used in this project. So let's start with the project functionality. So the project title is student attendance system. And uh, this project is a mini project uh, which I have developed in Python, Django and MySQL. So let's start with the functionality. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple uh, home page and it contains only the static content. There is nothing dynamic on this page, right? This is about us. So this is also a static content. If you want to change the content, then you can directly change from the HTML panel. This is a contact and this is also a static page and I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into database. And uh, even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. This is a login from where admin will be able to log in and perform the certain operations, right? So you can see the about dashboard is coming. Also, this is the admin dashboard, right? So admin can add the student, admin can add the attendance, as admin can see the student details, admin can see the attendance details. Also, admin can change the password. Miss the login password, uh, admin can change it from here, right? So let me go through one by one. This is the add student. So from here, uh, admin will be able to add the things, means first name, middle name, last name, roll number, post, system, email, mobile, data bus, nationality, witness, and address, right? So this is a totally dynamic form. And if you enter any type of value here, and if you submit it, then it will be just, it will save into the ISQL database, right? Same for the attendance. So this dropdown will contain all of the strengths which you added from here. So if you have, 10 strand, 20 strand, 1000 strands, then all of the strand name will be displayed here. So you can see the strand names are displaying here, right? So you can see it here, right? The, so this is the uh, calendar plugin and uh, it's showing here, right? And in time, you can see this is the hour and minutes is coming. So you can see the hour and minutes is coming, right? The in time, out time, you can select in time and out time here from here, right? right? So in time, this like okay so also this drop down will contain all of the strength which you will add which you have added from the uh, addition section this is a description and uh, once you submit it and it will be saved into the database right so you can see this is the database and if you want to delete it then you can delete it also right so this is the addition which i explained you earlier this is the add attendance from where you will be able to mark the attendance of the strength this is student details from where you will be able to list all of the student records. So currently there are four students uh, available and uh, you can edit and delete from here, right? So you can edit even you can delete from here. This is the attendance report and it will show you all of the attendance uh, which you added from the database. Currently I have a mark, I have marked attendance for the two students, but if you have more than two students uh, and more than one or two attendance then it will be displayed here means all of the attendance which has been saved into the database will be displayed here right okay so one more thing i want to show you that is change password from here you will be able to change your account password means admin will be change his account password right okay so the last thing i want to tell you the above menu is totally dynamic and session driven if you log out from the system the above menu will be and the administration administration menu will not be displayed right if you log in, then the administration menu will be displayed. So you can see administration menu is displaying here. And if you log out, administration menu is not displaying here. All right. So this is all about the project which I have developed because this 
system has only and only student uh, sorry admin login that's why it's a mini project if you need a student login as well as admin login then i can add it also just put it to the comment i will uh, make this project according to your requirements okay so this is all about my project student attendance management system if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better okay and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much